Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on a foundation that I just purchased. I bought this on your recommendation. A few of my subscribers mentioned that this is one of their favorite foundations, so of course I had to try it. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude water fresh makeup. I am going to show you a demo and close-ups of my skin with this foundation. First, let me just give you a little bit of product info. I purchased my foundation from Sephora. This is also available at Ulta and probably a lot of other retailers. It retails for $42 and it does have one fluid ounce. It's packaged in a very solid frosted glass bottle. It has the classic Estee Lauder gold cap and sadly, there is no pump. <laughs> I know that you can purchase pumps, but for $42, I just really wish this came with a pump. This is available in 12 shades. I got the shade N21 Desert Beige. It has SPF 30. It claims to be a medium coverage and it is formulated for all skin types. It also says that it has a satin finish. Let's go ahead and get to the demo so you can see me applying this foundation. I always start with a primer. This is one of my favorites, especially in the winter time. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, so I just patted that in. Then I'm going in with the foundation. I use the shade Desert Beige, and you're supposed to shake it up first. And there's no bub, wah! Okay, I'm just gonna dot that all over my face and spread it around a little bit with my fingers first. Then I'm gonna go in with a brush. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and I'm using that to blend it into my skin and spread it around. You can already tell that the brush works really, really well with this foundation. I don't see any streaks. It looks so natural and so smooth. I absolutely can't say enough good things about the finish of this foundation. Do a little smile test, do a little eyebrow crinkle test, no bunching up, no caking. I wanted to see how this works if you layer it, so I put some more foundation over spots where I like a little extra coverage. So I'm layering up over my nose, along my jawline, chin, all that good stuff. Then I'm using a damp sponge to blend in that second layer. This is the sponge from L'Oreal. I really love this sponge too. I just wanted to see how this worked if you built up the foundation. Is it buildable? Does it start to look cakey? You'll see in just a second when I show you the close-up. It still looks fantastic. This is definitely a buildable foundation. I'm not seeing any caking, no bunching up in the smile lines, no bunching up in between my eyebrows, which is where I usually have a problem. I'm just thrilled with how this looks. Now you can see it with my finished makeup. I didn't powder all over my face just where I put concealer. I also chose not to use a setting spray to see how this really wears on its own. And I just think it looks so good. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite foundations I've ever tried. Given this is my first time wearing it, I will put a little update down in the description box about how this wears throughout the day. But just first impression, this stuff looks fantastic. I absolutely love the way my skin looks. This has such a natural finish. It really doesn't look like I have makeup on at all, which is incredible. I don't see anywhere where it's clinging to any of my dryness. I wouldn't say that this is a true medium coverage. I think it's a light to medium. However, I do think that it builds really nicely. I did two layers as you saw in the demo and I think that it looks great. It didn't cake up. It's not getting clingy or built up looking in any of the spots that are usually problem areas for me and that would be around the nose and in between my eyebrows. I have dry skin so I'm very picky about my foundations. In 2017 we saw so many of these full coverage super matte foundations that is really not the kind of foundation that I like. So I am really thrilled to be trying this. I already know I'm going to love this. All around, really, really happy with it so far. I do have two complaints. Like I mentioned, there's no pump. I think when you're paying over $40 for a foundation, it really should come with a pump. Maybe that's not a big deal to everyone, but for me, it's just 
kind of a pain. I also think that 12 shades is nowhere near enough. I would really love to see at least twice that many shades in this range. Those are my only complaints so far. Like I said, I'll update you on how this wears, but so far, very impressed, very happy. Huge thank you to those of you who recommended this to me. I love taking your recommendations. I also love to hear what you think about things. So please leave a comment, let me know if you've tried this. Let me know what your favorite foundations are. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So good. It's good. Mm. I feel so 80s today with my like cut off sweatshirt and my little ponytail to the side. It's the Estee Water, Estee Water. Let's do a close up, like a really close. Ah! This crazy hair that keeps sticking out. What you gonna do? It's just like, it doesn't wanna follow the pack. You do you hair. Blah, 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 blah. Just clear your head, take a sip of coffee. <clears throat> Mm. I love finding a new foundation. It's been so long since I found a good foundation that I was like really excited about. Why? Why can't you come in more shades? I mean really 12 shades? Like what are you a drugstore brand? Like come on. Come on Estee. Step it up. Step it up girl. Okay. That's enough of that.